Darby. 94.9. Zero. 94.9 Z-Rock, sick puppies, riptide. I'm Darby. We're having a discussion on my Facebook about uh, uh, Channel 5 is not going to be running this show called <clears throat> The Playboy Club coming up on uh, the NBC schedule this this season. It, the show looks pretty awful, and, and I have no interest in seeing it, but we're talking about how interesting it is that when you're told you can't watch it, you kind of want to now. Oh, oh no, you're not going to tell me. Oh, no, you're not. It makes you want to watch it because you're a human. We still crazy. But I'm not going to talk about that here. You can go to my Facebook if you want to see more about that. But there's this story here. I think this is important. A new CDC report, which means somebody who went to college to become a scientist. And that, I've, I've not been to college. But I would assume that's pretty difficult. Uh, someone that went to college had to put this report together. 2000, in 2008, Americans wound up in the emergency room. So you can tell I didn't go to college. 234,094 times due to non-fatal bathroom injuries. Not 234,095, not 234,096, but 200,000, 234,094. Most of them were falling, and women were injured at a rate 72% higher than men. It says due to the positions required for leg shaving. Which is such a double standard that women have to shave their legs and dudes don't, but it's one of the few double standards I stand by 100%. Same thing with the armpit shaving. I'm behind it 1 billion percent. I would rather start shaving mine than having a lady stop shaving theirs. I'd be willing to start. I, I shouldn't have to because, I mean, that's just the way the world works. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm for that. The rates of injuries occurring on or near the toilet were far more common among people age 85 and older than those uh, ages 15 to 24. So if you're like 18 and you hurt yourself on the toilet a lot, you're a weirdo. I went to Harvard for what? To do what? Darby. 94.9.